All right, what we have here is two things. One is a piece of salmon for dinner, and the other is a messed up cast iron pan, and I'm gonna show you the easy way to clean this. And this works well after your pan is seasoned. When you cook something, it gets sticky at the bottom. Food sticks, and I've seen those little scrapers that they sell at the store, but this is uh, free and much easier. You get about, right after you turn the heat off, you get a little cup of water, cool water right off the tap, and while the pan is still hot, just pour a little bit in there and then scrape it off. That's gonna sizzle up, and everything stuck to the bottom is gonna sizzle right off of there. And it's just kind of like when you deglaze using wine or alcohol or something like that. And now everything that's stuck to the bottom comes off really easily. Now this works well once your pan is seasoned. But if you have a pan that's rusty or real dirty and you need to do a complete seasoning, you have to do that in the oven. But every now and then I cook something like this that just sticks to the bottom of the pan, makes a big mess, and this is how I clean it every time and it works great. So what I'm going to do now is enjoy the salmon dinner, let this pan cool off, and then we'll come back and show you how we do it. So dinner's done and uh, this pan has cooled off quite a bit, I'm able to handle it now. And everything that was stuck to the bottom is pretty much just scraping off very easily. So I'm going to take this over to the sink. And uh, I'm going to use just a little bit of soapy water on here. Because I cooked salmon and I don't want uh, tomorrow morning's scrambled eggs to taste like salmon. So just a little bit of mild soapy water. I will scrub it out, uh, rinse it and uh, bring it back to the stove top. And I won't insult you or bore you with watching me do that. Um, very simple, very quick. It's gonna take me a couple minutes. I'll be right back. And I said I wasn't gonna bore you or insult you, but I just wanted to, you to see. I just rinsed that with water. And there you go, you can see how clean that is already. Um, and here's just a little bit of soap. And I'm just going to quickly Clean the inside, rinse it, get all the soap off of there. Okay, I'm going to let this dry. Actually, I'm going to dry it with a paper towel and uh, we'll head back over to the stove top, okay? And so now we're back over on the stove top, washed and dried uh, the pan here. And you can see that it's lost its a uh, little bit of its seasoning luster. Uh, so we're gonna get that back on there. And you put it back on the stove top. I just put it on like a uh, medium high temperature. Let the pan warm up really well. And then I have a tub of shortening and this is the only thing that I use the shortening for. Um, I never cook with this stuff. I don't think it's that good for you. And uh, this is all I use it for. Just re-seasoning the cast iron. I, uh, this is about a, over a year old. And that's how much I've used. So this tub should last me another, at least another year. <clears throat> So once that pan starts getting really hot, I just put a little bit of that shortening on the uh, paper towel. And get a good even coat on here. And let it sit on the heat. And it'll just season right here on the stove top. The next time you cook, it really helps um, with the food not sticking to the pan so much. Makes cleanup much easier. 
And you can see usually when you cook salmon, that skin really likes to stick to the pan. But it hardly stuck at all and it was very easy to clean up. <clears throat> and there it is, look at that. I'll let that heat up for another minute or two. And then I'll turn off the heat and just let it sit on the hot stove top. And it'll just season there and I leave this pan out. I use it every day. And uh, that's really it. Real easy way to clean and season the cast iron pans. All right. Thank you.